Hey folks, Dan Frio here, the Mortgage Update. Today I want to go over with you a new program we just got. Um, it's an investor cash flow. So here's how it works. So if you have a rental property, you've probably experienced some issues. Those issues are you have too many properties. Um, because of the tax laws, you're able to write off depreciation. You're able to write off everything on your taxes due to that property or on that rental home that you own. So many times what happens is you have a loss on your taxes. Thus, you have negative cash flow on that home. Thus, you can't qualify for a mortgage because you're, you're not making what we call your debt ratios too high. And that's all your debts divided by your uh, income. So I have a program that should help almost every investor out there. And it's called the Investor Cash Flow Program that we have. And I'll put the link down below um, to, to how you can get in contact with me and some of the parameters behind this. But let me just highlight a few things. So if you have any rental properties, check it out. You can go down to a 660 credit score. All right. How you qualify. This is how these loans qualify. You take, you figure out what your mortgage payment is going to be. The principal, interest, taxes, insurance, if you have an uh, association fee, anything in regards to your mortgage payment, what that is. Okay. Now you compare that to the lease income or the rental income you receive on that property. What's going to be used for that is your lease or the appraisal. When we do the appraisal on a property, it's going to give us a rent, we call it a rent roll or rental analysis. Whatever one of those is lowest. So let's say we do an appraisal and it comes back and your lease for some, for some reason is $1,500, but the market rents in the area are $1,400. What's being used is $1,400 in this equation. Okay, so now let's compare these things. What I'm getting at is this cash flow program. Here's how it works. We take what your mortgage payment would, would be. Again, all the taxes, insurance, the PMI, PITI, all that with the association fee. As long as that payment is equal to or less than the rent rolls on that property, they're either, again, the rent, um, the lease or the rental analysis on the appraisal. So again, you have your payment, what your payment's going to be. And then you have that rental income analysis. If your rent covers this mortgage payment or exceeds it, you qualify. So let me recap this again. Basically, the, the whole thing is, in a nutshell, your complete mortgage payment with everything included. If it's equal to or less than how much rent that property is getting, you qualify. Um, well, as long as you meet the other credit qualifications, but income... Income wise, that's all that that's how you qualify. You go down to a 660 credit score, loan LTVs or loan to values go up to 80%, and it goes up to 1.5 million in loans. And there is also no number or no cap on the number of properties you can own. So again, if you own a own a property, it's it's a rental property, and you need to refinance. This program is, and you're having, let, let's say you're having trouble qualifying for a standard loan. So you can't compare it to, well, I'm here's my rate over here, because the rate's a little bit higher. It's not way out of whack, but it is higher than normal conventional loans. But what you got to look at is you don't qualify for this. We'll try to get you into this program first. If you don't, we can get you into this program. And many times it's you're, the reason why you can't qualify is your debt ratio. So again, this one is as long as your rents equal to or exceed what your complete mortgage payment would be, you qualify. So there's no debt to income ratio factor. You can have a hundred different other rental properties and it still works. So let's get down to the credit issues. Um, 660 credit score. You have to be two years out of foreclosure, short sales, uh, bankruptcies, deed in lieu. Um, you have to own another property. So you have to own a primary home to do this. Um, but other than that, like I said, 660 credit score, these are kind of the parameters behind that 660 minimum score to get into the program. The program will go up to an 80% loan to value. Um, you can cash out just pure cash up to, I think it's 70% loan to value. Um, and again, it's, it's one through four unit residential properties. 
There's really no debt ratio calculated. Again, as long as the rents equal or exceed what your complete mortgage payment's gonna be. Um, those are those are basically the basic tips of this. I just wanted to do a short video. We have this program available to us now. So if you're running into any issues or you have some rental properties you need to pull out cash and you're having uh, uh, you know problems qualifying with debt ratio, please let me know. I'll put some of the criteria down below. Again, I hope you like this video and all the other videos I did. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe down below. Give me a thumbs up. Love to love to have that, and also give me some comments down below. Let me know, um, you know, what other videos you might be uh, looking for. What other areas you want me to dig into, you know, in deep in. But I will put you down below. I'll put in a section that kind of breaks down the guidelines to this program. I'll have a link to you so you can apply online, uh, online directly if you want to, and then I'll have links to uh, other YouTube videos I have as well as my website. So I hope you like this video. I hope you get a lot out of it. If you don't have investment properties, you're a realtor and you you know clients or you, they're looking to buy, um, pass this on. If you if you have rental properties, realtors, you know you know family members that have rental properties and they're just having a tough time qualifying because you know many times it's hard to qualify because of the, you know once you have have a lot of rental properties you're taking all the tax law um, you know good pieces of it you're not doing anything wrong but you're taking all the deductions you can driving down that income on that property many times you know you just don't qualify for what they call the debt ratio so I hope you like the video I hope I can be of any help to you if I can't please pass this on to others share the share the video love to be able to help so thanks again for watching uh, God bless have a great day